continue with unit number six, Persephone Goddess of Springtime. Now, before we go to work on the next pages, I'm going to show some of others, you, of others to spell these words. Remember the definition of blossoms, collide, constant, content, distract, trout, pull, novel, policy, quiver, slide, and tidy because we're going to need it for next page. Now, uh, let's spell, let's spell the word collide. So let's see, Fernando. Fernando, could you spell the word collide for us? What word means? Collide. Collide. <clears throat> C-O-L-L-I-D-E. Excellent. Collide. Excellent. Okay, let's see. Alberto, could you spell Alberto the word fall? Fall. You're muted. Alberto, the word fall. F O U L. Okay, excellent. Mia Valentina. Mia, spell the word um, distract. Distract. Mia Valentina. Mia Valentina, no? She's not listening to us. Mia, no? Is me Khaled. Khaled, spell the word distract. She's distracted. D, D, A, D, I, S, T, R, A, C, T. Distract. Excellent. Andrea Nunez, could you spell the word? Um, Policy, Andrea Nunez. I'm sorry, Miss. Es que me llamaron. You were in a call. Okay, Andrea Nunez, the word policy. Spell the word policy. C O L L E T E. Policy? No. How do you spell policy, mm. Rebecca? Mm. Policy. Okay, P O L I C A. Y Y. How do you say that in English? Um. Why? 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 That is why. why. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go and work page number 60. Everybody up in page number 60, we're going to work on this page. Remember that we're going to match the meaning according to the words that we learned in the previous slide, the word that we defined. Now, number one, it's something that takes your attention away from your homework, maybe say to collide, quiver, slide, or distract. Distract. It's something that distracts you. That's right. Thank you. That is distract number one because it's taking your attention away. So you are not putting attention. That is distract. If you are using the cell phone, if you are in a phone, you have a phone call, if you're in something else, it's distracting you. Me, this is a homework uh language. If the children we going is necessary to take a telephone. That's right. I was reading some of you, but most of you say no, they don't need a cell phone to school. But some of you convinced me, they persuaded me to think that you need it because for an emergency, you write something that it's important. Now let's continue. Number two, when the cherry treats, it's a, it is a sure sign of the spring. The flowers, what are they doing the flowers or the trees, the cherry trees? Blossom. 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 Right. When the trees blossom, it's the surest sign of the spring. Number three, to check is to, if you're shaking because you're nervous. Qu quiver. 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 Excellent. You remember the quiver means to be shaking, to be nervous. 
Okay, number four. It's a guide dog. It's blind person's partner. People, blind people, it's people that cannot see anything. So they need a dog. It's a partner. So oh, constant, companion, full of tight. Oh, constant. Remember oh, that a constant, oh. we have two definitions. So it's a plant's person constant for it. It means that it's going to be all the times. It's constant. It's not going to change. It's going to be all the times with the party. It's going to be the dog. It's going to be all the times with the blind, the blind person, the blind people. So that's why it's constant. Number five, if you are closet, it's neat and organized. It is. Ooh. Ooh. Something that is organized, it's neat. Kiara? Tidy. Tidy, Isabella, that's right. It's tidy, excellent. That is number five. Number five, it's tidy. Complete it on your book. Complete it on your book. What about number six? Stormy weather might be described as? Noble. No, no, it's nice. It's nice. Foul, 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 It's going to be number six. Thank you, Kalen. Stormy weather may be described as a foul. Number seven, eight is an act of discourtesy. Noble. Noble. Are you sure that it's noble? Right. And it's like it's an act. It's an act of discourtesy. That is number ah. seven. Mm -hmm. Now, number eight, it says a long period of time without rain. It's dry. It's not raining. It is cold. Drought. 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 That's right. Excellent. Remember, it's not raining. It's dry. So we say drought. Now, what about number nine? It says when skaters they bump into each other with force. Collide. No. Are you sure that it's collide? Yes or no? No, no. Yes, it's collide. I was kidding. Ah. Yes, it's collide. Remember that they clash, they clash. So bump each other. Excellent, Gabriela. Excellent. I was just checking if you were sure if it was collide or not. Excellent. You got it. Now, what about number 10? Marcelo, Alberto, your video, please. Number 10, it says, a person of good moral character might perform acts. What means me? Yes, Marcelo. What is number 10, Marcelo, for you? What is the answer of number 10? A person of good moral character perform acts are constant noble. It's a noble act. Excellent, Marcelo. That is the answer. Noble acts. Good morals. Character. Number 11. What is number 11? Rules on how to act on the, on the policy, job. Policy. The company's policy. policy. Excellent. It's the company's policy. Each company has different policy. They have different rules. Number 12. So it means people who are with their lives feel happy and satisfied. And content. If you're content, that's right. You're happy and satisfied. That is number two. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go to the next page. What we're going to do, we're going to find the synonym and antonym for the word that it's in bold fits. Let's try to work by yourself. I'm going to give you four minutes to work by yourself. You can use the previous pages as a guidance, and then we're going to check the answer. Four minutes to work by yourself. I'm going to take the attendance while you are working. Ana, Andrea, present, Camila, Gabriela, present, present, excellent, Isabella, Chiara, present, excellent, Lucia, Mia, present, Lucia is here, Mia, it's connected, Mia, Valentina, missing a question, what is Mia? Mia? Means Mia's connected. Mia, but it's mm -hmm. not, she's might be distracted. She's not paying attention. Rebecca and Rosa. Yeah. 
A present. Yes. Remember, yes, it's not just to be connected. All of you have to be paying attention. Some of are connected, but they are distracted playing or doing another mm, thing. Yes, miss. Mia, I was taking attendance. Me, yes. no. Valerie and Sijan. Miss, pero me puso que estaba, verdad, miss? You have to participate, Mia. Not um, just to be connected. Okay, okay. for what? You have to work on this page, 61, Mia. Right now, by yourself. Okay, okay miss. Okay. No la puso. Valerie, it's connected, no? It's not connected, Valerie? Okay, let's see Alberto and Dani. And me and no. Present. Present. Mm -hmm. Fernando and Hermes. Present. Present. Excellent. Joshua. Joshua, Caleb. Present. Caleb, it's connected. Joshua, no. Marcelo, Santiago Hernandez. Present. Present. Excellent. Santiago Chavez. Present. Excellent. Thank you. Remember the synonyms. You have to find the synonym for the word flutter. That it's number one. So you need to check if it is quiver, blossom, distract, or collide. How can you know the meaning of fl flutter? By the context also. Flowers that flutter in the breeze. You can look for the synonyms for this word or by the context, you realize what is the answer of number one. Who has the answer of number one, the synonym blossom. for flutter? Blossom. 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 It is blossom, are you sure? Yeah. Quiver. It's quiver. Why quiver? Go and look. Go and look for the answers for this. Flowers that quiver in the breeze. What is the blossom? We're talking about the breeze. The breeze. They are quivering. They are checking. They are moving. So it's not blossom for that reason because they are quivering. They are checking. They are like nervous, but they are not people, so they cannot be nervous. They are shaking. If you go to for quiver and you look the synonyms, you are going to find out that one synonym for quiver is to flutter. Did you find out, class? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. What about number two? A high-born family. It is noble. Noble. Is it noble family? That's right. A high-born. Family, it's a noble family. What about contaminate the water supply? Flight. For contaminate, what is the first ah. synonym? Fold. Fold. It's foul. That's right. Fold. It's to contaminate. Why it's a synonym? To be dirty, contaminated. Excellent, Marcel. Collide. Number Collide four. Is the next. Collide. So players. Collide, excellent. Cry right. means collide. Thank you, Sian. The themes of the story. Police. Police. Content. 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 That's right. The information of the story. Excellent. Content. Mia Valentina, just Mia. Do you have the answer on number six? Mia. Mia. An insurance contract. What is a synonym for a contract, Mia? Which answer you have for number six, me and your in your not in your book? No, Mia Valentina. You know what? No, she's not connected. She's connected, but not paying attention. Okay, who has the answer on number six? Who is on number six? Um. Policy. Policy, Marcelo. Policy. It's a pronunciation. Excellent, Marcelo. Policy. Excellent. So that is number six. An insurance policy. That is a synonym for a contract. Excellent. If you have this answer, put a check. Yes. Put a check if you have this answer. If not, correct it. Now let's go to antonyms. Remember, antonyms means the opposite, it's the contrary. 
So we have withers on the vine. Which of these words means like blossoms? Blossoms is the country. Excellent, Marcel. That's the answer. Blossoms. It means room. What is the country for Mincy? TD. How do you pronounce Bravo. the word? TD or tidy? Tidy. 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 Thank you, Marcelo. Excellent. Tidy. And an expected completeness. Completeness. It's a slice. 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 The Anthony for compliment is slice. Focus, the student's attention. Distract. Distract, the student's attention. A flood of good ideas. Drought. Oh, it's a drought. Excellent, Marcelo. Why? Flood, remember, it's a lot of water. There is a lot of water. In the country for flood, it's no water. So it's drought. That is something that is dry. It's the answer. A random knocking at the door. Constant. Oh, it's constant. Excellent. Constant. I think I finished. finished. We'll check if you have the same answer. Not corrected or completed. I finished. I finished. Okay, I if you finish, finish, go to the next page. We're going to work on page 60, 62, I think that is. Just let me check the page now. Yes, yeah, 62, this one. Start working by yourself. I'm going to wait for your class. Finish the Hello. copy. You finish, go to next page. That page is the last of that unit. Okay. Yeah, the finish. last page of the unit that you have some suffixes. So start reading by yourself if you finish the page where you have some suffixes. Then we're going to work. I'm going to wait two minutes for your classmate to finish this, this page, this slide. Your microphone is off. Yes. Did you finish class? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No. no. Okay. No. Let me know once no, you finish Santiago Chavez. Miss, no, I don't finish the page 61. <laughs> Todas las circulas en mis pues, para que no me tardara mucho. Así que, I finish, Miss. Ok. Santiago Chávez, ¿did you finish, Santiago? No. 10 seconds, Santiago, to finish. If you finish, go to the next page, everybody. Let's work on the next page. Later, we're going to check the answer. I think the first one of the next is 62 is browsing. Remember that it's the page where it's a suffix, where you have some suffixes here. Okay, 10 seconds, Santiago Chavez. 10. Nine, eight, 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 seven, six. I finished. Okay, zero. Perfect. Let's go to the next slide. We have the word study suffixes. We have the suffixes here. 
So we're going to use these suffixes that we have meant, ity, if, if, and like. So we're going to we're going to learn about this. Remember that a suffix it's a word, it's a group of letters. One letter can be teacher is not 61. Okay, that's page 63. We're going to work on this page. I tell you, where is the suffix? We're going to work on this because it's important to identify the suffixes. The suffixes, remember that they are attached at the end, the base word. A base word, it's at the beginning and we have a suffix at the end. We create a new word when we attach these suffixes. So let's have it here. The suffix meant means the state or the act of. That is the meaning of meant, the state or act of something. For example, we have the base word, the word content, plus the suffix meant. We have a new word. We have the word content. Content. That means the state of being content. That is the new meaning of the new word. The state of the of being of content. What about move? Move, we know that the word has meaning by itself. But when we attach the suffix meant, we have a new word, movement. Movement, it's a new word. It means the act of moving. The act of moving. That is the meaning of the new word. We have the suffix that we have, iri. It means the state of condition. We have sincere plus iri, we have sincerity. It means the state of being honest or genuine. Notice, it says, notice that the letter E was dropped from sincere before ed was added. So we have sincere, we chop the letter E and we write ed. So for that word. The suffix if, attractive, attractive, it means able to attract. Attract is one word when we attract. You, if you have to write attractive. in me. Right now you have to listen, um, Marcelo, you have to, you haven't been to copy right now. You don't have to be copying. Because what happened if you just copy? You, if you don't understand, we need to understand and copy them. Now, what about the suffix like? It means something that is resembling. Like plus like, we have like like. It means resemble like. So we're going to use these four. We have four, four suffixes. We have the suffix meant, we have the suffix ed, we have the suffix if, and the suffix like. So these four suffixes we're going to use to complete this work. Let's practice. We are going to use this chart as a guidance. We have secure, that is a word, base word, secure plus the suffix. We have a new word, security. Which suffix we write here, class? What is the suffix that we write? Edi. Edi, that's right. So let's write it down this page, edi, to form the new word security. What is the meaning of that word? It means the state of being secure or free from danger. So if you have secure plus edi, it means security. You are free of danger. You are secure. What is the next word? We have, we don't know the word, plus if we have creative. What is going to be the create. word? Create. 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 That's right. So create plus if we have creative, able to create. What about the next one? We have require plus meant. Requirement. 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 It's a new word. So it's it's the result of something that is required. Excellent. And the last word for the practice, we have like equal to childlike. Child. Child. Excellent. So let's write it down this in the book in the book, please. I finish. Excellent. I finish me. Okay, Lucia. Do you have to write two meanings? Yes, write it down. Write it down in your in your in your book. 
and continue working in apply. We finish read the part of apply and try to work by yourself. Finish. Now apply. What are we doing this a part? Okay, tell me, Rebecca. What's your question? Um. Okay. In this part is uh only we are going to uh that a word, yeah. To create a word. To create a word. Mm -hmm. yeah? Yes. Yeah, Using the suffixes. Yes. Now let's apply complete each sentence with a word that contains a suffix meant, it, if, or like. Choose the word from the words adopt. So we're going to use the words that they are adopt. Now it says the young child found in his blanket and stuffed toy. Which of these words we can use? Two, write it here. Two, two words, two words. Found a security security in his blanket and stuffed toy. We can write security, security. What about number two? Turning in a sign permission is slip before going on a school trip, isn't it? Requirement. 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 That's why I can say requirement. Number seven, the graceful. We have two words in number seven. The graceful of the dancer's arm was not what was must. Which word we can use? The graceful. Um, anyway. Movement, the movement of the dancer, the, the person that is dancing. Arm was must. Creative. Attractive. Yes, we can write creative. That's a normal word. We can write creative or attractive. Excellent example. You can write creative or attractive. The must artists in the class made in the most creative, excellent artists in the class made an or a, a sculpture that looked just like fish. Which word we can write? Life -like. life like. Let's write life like in this space. Life like. Life like means something that it's me. like. I have a question, Miss. Me. In meeting and meeting, um, we're going to copy in in me in the row of meeting. We're going to copy it. I finish. It's necessary. Before I tell you, copy this. It's okay. It's okay. I finish. You finish. Have one minute. One minute. Okay. In this minute, just let me remind you that you have one homework in spelling to complete page 54 and 55. That is your homework. Take a picture and upload it to school. Okay. If you're friends, you can prep? disconnect. You can disconnect and see you, see you later. See you later. Bye-bye.